Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Morning Glories from Helen Williams. And now you're probably wondering, because this at the, you know, the time of this recording, it's December. Actually, this is this is the Daily Tangle for December 25th. So Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. If you don't, Merry everything. <laughs> Happy everything. I like that phrase. Um, and so I, uh, in looking on Pinterest, I've had this one saved for a bit. I'm like, ooh, this will be perfect. And and in the front, uh, um, the first picture, I mean, you see, you probably see why. So let me take you down the rabbit hole that I had to go down because I'm like, after I was playing with it, I look at the the title on the on this step out, which uh, you will find. I'll have all the links in the in the description section. This one just says some other ideas, and I'm like, uh oh, other ideas for what? <laughs> so uh, so it, on Pinterest, there was another um, yeah another another uh, step out that was called Morning Glories Two, and I'm like. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I need to find Morning Glories one because you know you just I don't I'm just the type of person and you have to just start from the beginning. <laughs> and so let us start from the beginning. Okay. And and the only thing that I found on Helen's site and these are they're you know they're dated and everything. I went through every single post. I'm like I can't find. I searched. I couldn't find it on her site. So I don't know. It's just it's a puzzle, but. Okay, so here is, here's where it actually starts, <laughs> and then we'll get to the others. All right, starts off with a, you know, um, a really neat kind of triangle, and you can have this angled however you want, you know, with the sides kind of going in like this, all sides of them. Okay, then... From here, we're going to just, we're going to do, like, this becomes one side of the triangle. We're going to do smaller ones from here and kind of angling them down a bit like that. And then we'll just do eat both sides like that. And then, uh, and, and I'm not sure why exactly she has this here, but we'll go with it. It's okay. It, and it doesn't, and one of those, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, there are some, gosh, what was it? Oh, Bronx Spear. Um, and I did a, a video on that a while ago. And there was uh, a place where they kind of did um, the stem and then and then filled in some like partial orbs behind it. So it really made it look like it was surrounding it. That could be why, um, that could be the, part of the reasoning here. I don't know. So a little orb, squashed orb, and then just, you know, a line. Okay. And then, you know, if you want to be like all neat, you could, I'm going to put some little thickening there at the end. Okay. Get all fancy. All right. So then we can continue these kind of around, but getting smaller and smaller. So I'm going to, let's see, let me just take a peek. Oh, this one the, looks like the next one kind of, and it kind of just goes down and we'll do it on this side too. And then at some point, like right here, like that. So you're coming in, you know, part way down instead of having uh, the ends meet. And it gives the illusion that, you know, this is the, that this is the other side. Okay. And that's it. And do take a look at the for more inspiration link because Helen's work is beautiful. I've honestly, I've only, I've seen her tangles on, and I, we probably have done some on, oh, we have, I know on, um, on tangle patterns, but her, I mean, her, her artwork is just, is beautiful. Okay. And then, you know, let's just, we'll shade it a little bit here and just spread it out a little bit. probably could go a little further. Oh, and I do like, she kind of puts it on the, on the veins a little bit. So we could do that. Or what I'm interpreting as veins, <laughs> you know, and you can, you can have as much fun with that as you want. Okay. 
So that ends up being the beginning of this. So then Morning Glories 2 is like this. Similar idea as uh, as we started here, but we're going to kind of like start it like right here. So there'll be, you know, a little opening at the end. And so that is, and I was enjoying doing it this way and then coming through, oops, sorry, like that. And then we're going to essentially halibau, uh, you know, this a similar... Um, I want to say stroke, but it's really kind of three strokes. A similar thing here. All right. And what I found helped with this is to come from the bottom. Curve line, you know, a little bit away from here. And, you know, however far away as, as you want to be. And then to come over. So that way I have, I have this side and this side. And then I can pretend like, okay, where is it going to come, you know, sort of down to a point. You know, it's one of those, yeah, you kind of make it up as you go. And then similar to what we did here, we'll just come out and do another one like that. And this one, these ones, I just find it easy to just do curve line this way, curve line that way, and that's it. All right. Now we'll do the other side. Same idea. And truly, this is one of those, just don't worry about it. Just do it. Like that, I don't really care for that angle that I just did, but whatever, it's all good. Okay. And so this, and we'll just, I'll, I'm going to shade the way she did, which is very, very nice. Um, that was heavier out here. Honestly, this, this to me, it looks like uh, a bunch of bassoon reeds. Because... <laughs> there's a tip <laughs> that's what it looks like to me but that's okay all right and oh we'll go a little bit yeah up here okay so this is morning glory too now and i also notice on on the first the first row um, she has this blocked off, you know, has it capped off down here. And then the, the bottom row, she doesn't. So, uh, your option, whether you want to do that or not, it kind of looks neat that way. All right. Now, <laughs> oh, I'm getting this done pretty quick. I was looking, oh, this is going to be one of those longy ones instead of it being a quickie. Uh, all right. All right. So now for the uh, uh some other ideas <laughs> oh goodness that's just so funny i mean it has a link to her website and everything so i'm not sure you know who, if, if she posted it or who posted it but i mean a, a lot of times you don't even see a link you know when, when somebody posts something sometimes you just you can't it seems like you used to be able to tell on pinterest uh you know who posted it um but yeah, sometimes you don't. But this, yeah, like I said, it's got links to her stuff. And it's like, okay, well, wh Ugh, why can't I find the exact? Because I want to get the whole story. All right. So now we're taking it to another level. Uh, same idea is what we did, is what we just did. But similar idea, I should say that. Because if it was the same, then it would be the same, right? Okay. We start out the same with the first step. And then we're going to make it uh have them come right off of one another like so then now this one start from the top Th that's one key thing start it from the top don't start from the bottom like you would think uh we would do so from the top and it's again it's the same idea as what we did here so coming off up uh, we'll do one side at a time. Okay, so there's layer one. And then the bottom, as, as we go down, what we're going to do is because we're going to overshoot this, right? 
and we're going to have it so it's kind of hollow bowed underneath that top section. So that's why you have to do that top section first. And what's so interesting is that, like I said, you know, I, I was, I think I probably would have met, rather had this line going here, but in the end, it doesn't matter. And especially if you have more of them, it really doesn't matter. Okay. And I would even dare say, you know, the more, not wild, but wild that you get with it, the more fun it will be. Okay. So we have that. And then also in the, in this, um, on the, some other ideas page, and I did this one on my version of the step outs. If you want to play further from this and actually, you know what, why don't I go ahead and do it because you can kind of see if you want to, you could do something like this, finish this like a seed shape on the top. And she has some other, um, you know, ideas that, you know, so that's why I want you to make sure to take a look at that uh, for more inspiration link. Um, actually, it was kind of sort of like this doing it from here, but then doing this on the tops of them. So it looks like horns, it, you know, um, really, really neat, especially this time of year. A lot of times you'll have something like that. It just, like I said, looks really cool. Um, or depending on which way you do them, it could like look like bells. All right. And then now on the subsequent ones, we're not going to do a full curve line. We're going to essentially hollow bow like that. So keep, I mean, you could do, do, you could do a whole, uh, you could do a whole curve line and just fill in over that if you want. That's what I did the first time. And I'm like, oh, oh, wait, I see. These look like they're coming in. So you really have to hollow bow. And let me do that down here uh, where it's a little bit bigger. So curve line, stop it, or whatever, you know, the first line you come to. And then, you know, as we would hollow bow, you know, pick up your pen, move it and continue it on the other side. And then we're just filling in on, on either side here. So it looks like it's coming out of there. It's like, it's an acne hole. It is, it is. So just super neat, right? Okay. Now, the thing that attracted to me th to this, <laughs> it doesn't have a step out. So I figured out, okay, I well, well, here's how we'll do it. You do it upside down. Well, and not, it's not even up, wait, it's not even upside down. It's the same thing that we have done on these two, but let's start at a point and make the first one smaller. So here, right? and do the whole string like we've done this. And so however many, you know, layers that you have room for. And I love this because it's just, it's whimsical. And I do love the whimsy. Let's see. They should be getting bigger. They're not, it's okay. I can make up for it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and then just like we have done before, um, and let me make double sure, but I think, yeah, we're, but, and we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So it's just, it's pretty much the same as what we just did. And here's where like, like mine, I didn't, I didn't quite have it going out uh, a whole lot. Oh, although let me oh, take that. I take something back. One difference, although I don't know that it would matter, is that the bottom, the, whatever your last one is, we're not doing this where it goes over. We're going to have it just kind of, you know, meet. Uh, more similar to where we started. So I'm going to come out here. And I'll do the other side as well. And then we'll do a shorter one like that. And then the rest is normal. I have a skinny tree. That's what this one is. <laughs> and then I 
Oh, and let's just put some there. <laughs> Uh, mine is very Susian or something. I don't know. But it's cute. That's all I have to say. And so, um, yeah, and just, yeah, really fun. Let's see. And so if I was going to shade this, because these are um, like layers in the sort of the tree. Let's put some graphite under there. Oh, and heck, we'll just, we'll use what's left on the tortillon here. Maybe come down a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit more graph. Oh, look at that. I didn't look at the screen. That doesn't look too bad. It's adorable, <laughs> if I do say so myself. All right, the only one I didn't shade is this. And so while I'm doing this, if you have enjoyed this, please, please click the like button. Um, I appreciate any, you know, leave comments, like, share, subscribe, all of that, um, as it does help with the algorithm stuff. Um, and so I really, really appreciate that. You know, I'm gonna do this one differently. Let's do it in here so we maybe make these round. And I'll see what we do on the outside. Um, yeah, so yeah, please click the like button. And if you like it enough to see more, uh, would love to have you be a subscriber in the description section, you will find links to, uh, the step outs. I will, I will label all of these pictures. Um, yeah, as I, as I said, what these things were, oh, I like that. Look at that. I only have the one side done, but woo. Um, so I will have all of these, uh, links in the description section. That's kind of cool just highlighting that. And I'm just going to leave, I think I'll just leave the rest of it the way it is, maybe. Well, maybe not. Let's just have those go in maybe a little darker. But not, not going way out. I don't want to have the graphite remorse. That would be bad. After all of this work. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of nice. All right. Yeah, so you'll find all of those links. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, also, I have, uh, you can click on my link tree. That's something new that I've added in the description section. It's a link that has has all of the links that I would normally put in there separately. Um, but that way, you know, if you wanted to save that in your browser or something like that, if you like me enough to do that. Um, so you will find link to my uh, website where you can subscribe to my blog. And uh, um, the things that I send out on my blog are the Daily Tangle, uh, recaps from uh, classes, things like that. Someday I will get to like actually announcing classes on there. Um, but for now, those are the only two things that I really send out. Um, I will, I will send out new tangles. So when we're, when we're premiering a tangle, I will send that out. It's a, something extra special. Uh, you, you'll also find link to my Facebook page. I think that's in the icons that's right above, uh, or, um, right above the links. You'll see the little icons. So my Facebook page and there you can follow me for class postings, other things like the daily tangle, other fun, um, and then also, if you happen to be on Facebook, we have a, a Tangle Addicts community group page. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, if, if you would like to have, a, I've been calling it a safe space, a comfortable space, uh, to share your work and just, you know, just, you know, just share and communicate and, uh, and things, all things entangle. Uh, we would love to have you. And the reason I say safe is because I, I've, I've seen some comments. I've, I've received some feedback that it's just nice to, um, you know, everybody's welcome because Zentangle is not about creating a gorgeous uh, piece of art. It's about your journey and, you know, what you accomplish. Um, with it. And so we like to celebrate everybody's wins. Um, you know, we have people that have shaky hands and we have people that have other issues and, and they share and, you know, and we just love, you know, we like everybody being happy about what they've done. And that's just, that's how that is. So we would love to have you join us. Uh, let's see. 
uh, classes I talked about a little bit. Just Oh, and by the way, a lot of them are free. I do have some that are paid, and then I also have a membership club. All the information is on my website, and if you can't find something, let me know. Actually, there's a link to my email in the, the link tree. And uh, there's other stuff on there, too, uh, for you to explore. Uh, that's It's just a really, really neat tool, that is. All right, so with that, thank you so much for watching. Oh, it didn't take as long as I thought to go through, essentially, well, four inceptions of this one tangle. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for having fun with me. Um, and thanks for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.